processor is a double bladed metal instrument used for extraction of fetal head this instrument is applied to the fetal head and then the operative uses traction to extract the fetus typically during a contraction while the mother is pushing this is the structure of forceps you can come and see it is available in our department in library also so it has called a handle then shaft and blade and it has got two curves one is cephalic curve that is inside of the blade and the pelvic curve that is outside of the blade the cephalic curve is around the fetal head and pelvic curve lies in the pelvis of the mother these are the two types outlet and mid cavity forceps the long one is mid cavity forceps and the outward the small one is outlet forceps also known as ringlet forceps classification of forceps for deliveries are first one is outlet forceps also known as ringlet forceps then outlet and mid forceps that is simpson or elliot forceps third one is mid forceps that is tucker or maclean forceps mid forceps and rotating forceps are gland and after coming head of breech is removed by piper forceps again the structure of this short curve obstetrical forceps or outlet forceps with handle lock shank and blades this is keelan forceps you can see the length of the forceps is quite more than the outlet forceps and the curve of the pelvis is also there and the blades length is also more than the outlet forceps this is piper forceps to remove the after coming head of breech and this is tucker mcleod forceps usually used in cases of c section while difficulty in removal of head so we can use this blade for removal of fetal head so forceps delivery can be divided into three the outlet forceps when the scalp is visible at the vulva without separating the labia then outlet forceps is applied low forceps vertex present at plus 2 station then only low forceps will be applied and mid forceps when the head is engaged but leading part above plus 2 station the sagittal sutures not in ap diameters then only mid forceps are applied now only outlet forceps are applied and all the other low and mid is absent you can see in this picture outlet forceps and low forceps delivery with rotation and uh, this uh, have a look the place of blade and the uh, distance of entrointus in outlet the blade is just lying at the entrointus and inside the fetal up to the fetal head but in low forceps you can see this blade is quite long and the head is uh, handle is also long and it is applied up to the entrointus can you say this then can you different differentiate it just this thing. watch here this is the difference and how long is this this one so this one is mid cavity forceps again in mid forceps forceps reached up to the mid cavity see it's up to the mid cavity this is ischial spine this level is ischial spine this goes above the ischial spine But in low pivot, low forceps or outlet forceps, it 
lines here. So the application of forceps are cephalic application. The forceps is applied on the side of fetal head in manto vertical diameter. So injury of the fetal face, eyes and facial nerve is avoided. Second application is pelvic application. The forceps is applied along the maternal pelvic wall irrespective of position of hand. It is easier for application but it carries a greater risk for fetal injuries. And the third one and the best one is cephalopelvic application. It is ideal and possible application when the occiput is directly anterior or anterior, um, mento anterior position. So you can see very well this is cephalic application, application of the forceps according to the fetal hand. This is pelvic application just applied in the pelvis and in cephalopelvic with proper assessment of pelvis and the head of the fetus we can apply cephalopelvic application. Like this one, after application of the forceps, the, blade, the lock should be locked. Then we have to pull the head straight horizontal. This one is horizontal. Then upward direction and then forward direction to make the head visible and then the head is come out from the pelvis. So the action of traction is mainly, traction is a main action and rotation in deep transverse arrest, persistent occipitoposterior and mentoposterior position only, there is rotation also. Now indication of forceps delivery, prolonged second stage, if it is prolonged more than one hour in primary cabina and 30 minutes in multipara, this may be due to poor voluntary bearing down in port, large fetus or rigid perineum. Sometimes there is malpresentation, especially persistent occipital posterior position and deep transverse arrest. So these are the indications. Other maternal indications are maternal distress, exhaustion when the pulse is more than 100 beats per minute temperature greater than 38 degrees centigrade and when there is a sign of dehydration. Maternal diseases like heart diseases, pulmonary tuberculosis, preeclampsia and eclampsia are the ideal for forceps application. Fetal indications when there is fetal distress, prolapsed pulsating cord, preterm delivery and after coming head in breach delivery. Preterm delivery, that means if it is patient came in labor and then you have to deliver around the baby, then only you can use the forceps because it prevents damage to the scalp. But ideally, if the patient is in your OPD and then she was admitted and uh, you plan for deliver her, then ideally C section, not forceps. Now we come to the prerequisites for forceps applications. Anesthesia can general epidural spinal pudendal block. Then adequate pelvic outlet. That means you have to find out the contraction of the contracted pelvis or assessment of pelvis should be done before application of forceps with all the septic measures. Bladder and bowel should be evacuated. Contractions of uterus should be present. Dilatation of cervix is full. It should be full dilatation of cervix. Then only forceps will apply. And head should be engaged. These are the prerequisites for a forceps application. Then pore water should be ruptured. The favorable positions are occipital anterior, occipital posterior, face presentation, and after coming head in reach. We come to the procedure. As I told you, lithotomy position in anesthesia, 
with adequate pelvic outlet and with all aseptic precautions bladder and bowel should be empty and the contraction of uterus must be there then the obstetrician must introduce a left leg first inside the pelvis and the assistant should hold the blade then application of right blade is done it depends uh, obstetrician is right left handed or right handed if she is right handed then first blade is introduced followed by second blade then try to make the lock possible if the lock is there easily locked take out the blades then insert the jalokin in medial lateral position give a visotomy and now again insert the blade uh, first introduce your one hand inside the vagina and then by the side of the hand you can insert the blade then the assistant should hold the blade same application with the other side and then lock the blade and after that you have to pull the uh, forceps straight then upward and then forward gradually head will come out then remove the blade and then other things will be done and the body will deliver out simultaneously now reassessment the forest forceps is removed and the patient is reexamined and detect the cause and if it is not uh, there then correct if it is possible that means as i told you first introduce the forceps make it locked then that means the head and the pelvis and the forceps in a right position then you can give only visotomy otherwise you give visotomy then apply forceps and then forceps will be not locked and you have not able to use this forceps and we have to go for c section the best is to first reintroduce examine then give visotomy and then again reintroduce and make the head removed with the help of forceps in cases of c section it is indicated in uncorrected cause as cpd and contracted outlet exploration of birth canal is must in cases of forceps application for any injury the perineum now come to the contraindications like fetal prematurity as i told you known fetal demineralization diseases like osteogenetic imperfect unengaged head unknown fetal position and malpresentations maternal complication which can occur because of forceps is a maybe because of anesthesia and laceration is the important one the extension of episiotomy perineal tear vaginal tear cervical lacerations bladder injury rupture uterus pelvic nerve injuries and bacterial infections Fetal complications are fracture of skull, intracranial hemorrhage, facial nerve palsy, trauma to eyes, face, and scalp. So this that's all for forceps delivery. Now we have another lecture that is on bandages.